In today's video I'm going to show you how to create two Christmas tags that are completely different from each other in terms of style and I will also show you how you can turn them into mini cards. Hi there everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome back to my channel. As I said, I'm going to be making Christmas tags today and I want to show you how you can create two completely different styles using more or less the same supplies. I've got so many questions about tags because some people doesn't know what to do with them and in case you don't know, you normally use this on a package or a present, you can write the name of the person behind it or a little note. You can also use it for cookies that you want to give to somebody, a bottle of wine, there are so many possibilities. Basically you add it to a present. You can also use it for scrapbooking projects but if none of this interests you I'm also going to show you how you can turn them into mini cards by using a very simple trick. So let's get started and see how to create some Christmas tags. These are some of the supplies I'm going to be using today. I have these tag die set that is really useful and also I'm using a couple of new products by Simon Sestam that belong to the collection Holy Jolly. Everything I'm using will be listed in the video description and also in the first comment you will find a link to a visual supply list in case you have trouble finding any product. Also if I forget anything please let me know and I will add it to the list because sometimes I forget. And if you are interested in anything and decide to buy, then if you do it through my links, I get a small commission. It's completely free for you, but it really supports my job and my channel and I always thank you for that. Now, as you can see, I'm doing some basic heat embossing, white heat embossing for the first panel and gold heat embossing for the second panel. When everything is ready, I will be adding color to the first panel, to the white one, using the stress inks. And here I just wanted to show you these new brushes by Simon's Stamp. I use the rainbow brushes all the time, but before they came only in one size and now the package includes different sizes, which I think is really practical. So this is the basic design for these tags. I'm going to be changing my mind about a few things. I'm gonna uh, go with the glitter sentiment and also the shade on the red one is going to change. You will see that in the pictures. 
And now I'm just adding details. I'm adding some leaves behind the sentiment in the rainbow one. I'm also going to be adding jewels and some sequins. And once I'm done, I'm going to show you how to create a card with them. This product is clear foam. I got so many questions in my previous video about it and I use it to add a bit of dimension to vellum when I attach it to the card, but you still need to hide it a bit behind some lines or drawings or something because of course it's not as visible as a white one, but you can still see that it's there. So try to hide it a bit. Now there are also other brands. I'm using this one, but there are other brands out there so you can make a search and find whatever works for you. And here's how you make a card out of a tag. You just need to die cut another tag and then make a score line on the top part. Everything on top of the line, you attach it to the tag that you already made and that's it, you have a card. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon. Bye!